Hello and welcome back to the second episode of How IT Works. You're here again with myself, Dan, and my co-host and camera manager. Hi. And in this episode, we're going to show you how to install new RAM strips into a HP G5 server. So here we have our HP ProLion G5 server, and we're going to unlock the top part of the chassis and pull the lever up like so, and then push it forwards and that will move the front of your case and it comes off like that. Once you're inside, you see your components. In here we have the brake controller, power supplies, fans, hard drives and the back plane. And then under here, under this baffle, we have the dual processors. This one only has one fitted. And under there we have the RAM strips. This part is used as a PCI Express or a PCI X riser. So we're going to go ahead and move these loops out of the baffle so that we can get the baffle off and get to the ground. Now that the cables are out of the way, we can freely lift the baffle. Now there's no clips, and it should just freely lift out like that. Put that to one side. Now that we've moved that, we can clearly see our processors and VRMs, as well as our RAM strip slots. Now, the RAM has to be installed in matched pairs. This system currently has two gig installed, and we're going to install a further two gig into the second and fourth slots. So, Banana, our trusted companion, has our two RAM strips for us. Now these are official HP RAM strips and are PC5300F, so they're fully buffered strips that this server takes. We're going to go ahead and install them into the slots. So make sure you line the notch up with the side of the slot that has the notch in. And then go ahead and clip that there, like so. Just repeat that. For any more RAM strips that you have, installing, ensuring that they are paired in every other slot. So them two, and them two are pairs. Them two, and them two would be your other two sets of pairs. And there we have it. So we're going to go ahead and reinstall the baffle. Now that we've got the baffle back on, we can go ahead and reclip our SAS cables in. Like that. So they're nice and neat and out of the way. Once you've done that, you can continue to reinstall the lid of the server by simply dropping it down about an inch away from the front of the server, nice and evenly, pushing it forward until the handle starts to drop, and then push on the handle until it clips in. Optionally, you may remove the um, Torx Allen key from the back of the server, place it into there, and turn it 90 degrees clockwise to lock the handle of the server. And that is the new RAM fully installed. This has been the second episode of How IT Works. Thank you for watching, and if you liked the video, be sure to click that like button down below, subscribe, and leave a comment so we know what to do in future videos. For our next video, we haven't quite decided what we're doing yet, so it's a bit of a surprise. Keep an eye on the channel, and be sure to come back to see what happens in episode 3. Thanks for watching, Bye. see you next time.